Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel, Kenobi Media. It has been a while since I posted my last video, but today I wanna to share with you guys a really, really helpful tip that I use most of the time when I'm editing photos and videos using Lightroom and Photoshop. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about local adjustment. This is very helpful for me when I'm using Lightroom and Photoshop, especially when I'm editing with a preset. If you don't know what preset is, it's basically a set of action, a set of adjustment you use in your Lightroom and you save it. Uh, next photo, you can just copy and paste the same action and adjustment from a previous photo to the new ones and that called preset. Now you can also buy presets from very successful photographer, videographer, and you can replicate uh, their style and their action in your photos, and you can make your photo have a vibe that you wanna reach for. I'm a fan of preset because it just makes my work a lot faster, and a lot of time when I look at the photo, I can try different presets first to see what vibes I wanna go for for different photos. Obviously, there's no perfect preset, so you're not gonna slap the preset on, and for some reason, your photo is just perfect. No, you have to do some adjustment even after the preset, but the preset give you like a vibe. So then you learn that, okay, this is the vibe I want to go for for the certain photos. Some of my favorite presets are from Peter McKinnon, Alan Palander, Chris Hall. Uh, I have a bunch of presets on different photographer, videographers, and wedding industries, stuff like that. But today, let's work on a certain photos and I can show you what my process is when I'm editing this photo. This is a really nice photo from a, that my friend Juan took of me. So first I changed the size of the photo 4x5 for Instagram. Now I'm looking for the best presets. I choose Alan Prelander preset for this one. I changed the white balance, raised up the luminance of the orange, add the gradient mask for the sky to make it look moody, lower saturation and lower highlight. So I like everything about this photo except the color of the face. I think it's too orangey, it's too saturated. Uh, everything else in the photos look good. So then now is a time when we talk about local adjustment. Um, back in the day, the only way we can change the color in one area is basically Photoshop. But now Lightroom, they just updated a feature where you can actually change local adjustment in Lightroom itself. So they have, we have two ways of doing this. Let's go into Lightroom and see how we do that first. So I'm gonna create a mask and how to do that is I create the brush tool. I click O so I can see what I mask out. I start painting the skin over. Keep in mind for the sake of time, I'm not gonna make it perfect, but usually you wanna make sure it's as uh, clean mask as possible. You can use option key to remove whatever area you don't wanna mask out. And once you're done, I start uh, lower the saturation for the skin. I change some white balance, uh, make it more magenta and more warmer with the way slider. This is a new slider on Lightroom and I like it a lot. And then I make some adjustment to make the skin warmer. And then this is the before and this is the after. Now that's, that's if you want to do Lightroom, obviously, if you use Photoshop, there's a lot more options you can do um, to change, to manipulate the color. And I will show you, the, you how to do this too. All right, now you choose edit your photos in Photoshop. And once the Photoshop is on, you duplicate the layer, you add a mask, uh, choose the brush tool, make sure the foreground color is black because you paint on white. You can use a dash on your keyboard to see what you're painting and you paint the mask away, paint your skin away. And once you have your mask, I usually choose selective color. I usually manipulate color on red and yellow because the skin tone, you wanna get it a little bit more warm and more magenta. And uh, once you're happy with it, make sure to click save and then it go back to your Lightroom and here's the before and here's the after. And I like it a lot. All right guys, that's pretty much it. I hope it helps. Let me know if it helps you guys. Uh, if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave in the comment below. 
If you think I could do it better, also leave a comment, tell me what should I do differently. Either way, if you like it, if you found this information a bit helpful for your editing, make sure to click like and subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know when I post a new video, and talk to you soon. Bye. In love, da -dun 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 -dun. summer is for fall.